Yo guys, welcome back to part two of Metaphor Re Fantasio. Um, we just did everything we did in the first part, which you can find in the description below. But right now we are on our way to assassinate uh Luis, the guy that put a curse, uh put the curse on our um our prince best friend. Uh hold on, let me heal as well. Actually, maybe sleeping heals you. Let's see What's that. It? Maybe sleeping will heal heal you. Potential. We're probably gonna get a cutscene here, so that's why I uh yeah, here we go. Can't sleep? Guess I'm not surprised after what we just went through. Still, you've got to keep yourself rested to be at your best. I know. I'm not tired. The ground makes a poor bed. The ground makes a poor bed. Well, you're just going to have to rough it until we're back to the capital. I wanted to tell you, though. When the human attacked... I heard a strange voice. It told me my duty would be to guide you. Duty? What do you think it meant? I mean, I haven't exactly been much of a guide so far. All I told you was that we had to deliver our message, and that almost got you killed. I never expected it would be this dangerous, and it feels kind of like it's my fault. I don't mind a little danger. It's not your fault. It's, it is kind of your fault, dude. I'm just going to be a... Dude, is it like maybe like a different ending if you're just... An asshole to Gallica the whole game. I mean, it is kind of your fault. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Way to twist the knife. <laughs> <Yet, laughs> I can't fight with you. But as long as you're up against all this scary stuff, I'll try to help however I can. You've got something special, you know. I don't know what it is just yet. But I believe in you. Oh, hey, uh, you know what insomnia is good for? Catching up on reading. She betrays me at the end? No way, could you imagine? If only our lives were anything like the world in your novel. It's just war after war here. Are we gonna read more of the Red novel right now? It's fueling the flames, but it's a nice fantasy. Enjoy it while you can. No. Good night. Good night, Gallica. What the hell is going on? Well, hello. Oh, <laughs> nice this, to meet you. Is this a scheming man? I've been waiting. Oh, no way they got Igor in here. Oh, wait, not with that nose. And now you've acquired the most interesting power. Wait, this guy's kind of... You truly are an intriguing one. Who is this? Fascinating. In the moments where your heart is most gripped by the book, I can reach out to you. Oh, is he the author? My name is Moore, and I am the humble author of the novel you've been reading. You stand now in my study. Quite something, isn't it? A hall of wisdom, purpose built for the research of certain powers. I call it academia. Alas, it's as much a prison as it is a library. His most merciful majesty saw fit to lock me in this place. It has me a bit addled, honestly. I no longer remember where in the kingdom my study actually lies. I he was locked in this, John? Never imagined my voice would reach beyond these walls. Until you appeared. And now, by whatever strange forces are afoot, I can speak directly to your mind. So... What would you say to an alliance? What kind of alliance? This is way over my head. Not interested. What kind of alliance? There must be more you wish to know. For instance, the nature of this fascinating power you've awakened to. I believe you have found a way to wield true magic. You need no petty conduit of mortal make. You can even change your appearance using the raw magma within. It is above all a mystic, long-hidden art. Now the stuff of legend. What I have come to call archetypes. Archetypes? A spirit of heroic virtue. A transformative power that manifests only in those who embody the heroes and kings of old in some core aspect. Heroes of antiquity are often depicted as near-mythic figures, 
with forms transcending the mortal. These accounts are no mere allegory, but truth. However, none of my records describe anyone wielding such power as freely as you. Perhaps you are meant for not just proficiency, but mastery. In their truest form, archetypes represent the power of a true hero. One who can drive away calamity and evil in this world, no matter its form. Indulge me this request, and I believe my dream may yet be possible. Together, we can restore the kingdom's ideals. I shall gladly provide you knowledge and assistance to master your newfound power. So what say you? Will you take my hand in friendship? This guy's gonna be my skill tree guy. Uh, I'm so special. Okay. Okay. The bargain is struck then. Wait, bargain? What the? I hear a voice from somewhere. The scholar in search of utopia. More. Within him dwells the virtue of the seeker. Nurture thy bond with him. And a new power yet slumbering within thee may awaken. So this guy's my velvet room. Wow, that's cool. Rank one more. New ability, Seeker. Seeker archetype. The party can now study the Seeker once unlocked in academia. Or bright-eyed student allows the party to change between archetypes once unlocked. Do I get to pick one or? The party now study the Seeker once unlocked in academia. I just did the bottom one. I can switch between archetypes. I can sense the heroic embodiment of the Seeker from more. More is the first of your followers. People that support your quest that stead and as steadfast allies that you can grow closer to. Okay, so it's like the um like uh classmates in, in Persona 3. Strengthening your bonds with your followers will lead to unlocking various abilities that can change the shape of your journey. More is just the first of many, so keep an eye out. So I think the followers are what's gonna help us rise we'll to the again, throne. Sure. Here's to our joined path and the thrills that yet lie ahead. Oh, true. We've got 20,000 of those, right? You guys are my followers as, right, uh, as well. Real, real. The funeral draws ever closer. Five days remain. Five days, all right. So what do we do in five days? Early morning. Already then? Jesus, From hell. here on, we travel in secret. If we are to get back into the capital, we'll have to do it undetected. So we'll cut through the forest, find the abandoned mine shaft in the mountain, and take the tunnel to the other side. That way, they'll never see us coming, huh? Lad, you'll be our vanguard. It'll be a trial by fire. But the sooner you get used to that power, the better. Speaking of, you were talking like you know something about it. Mm, not much. Just what I've picked up from missions in the early days. I've only heard it's a power found in those who walk a righteous path. Sounded like superstition to me. But everything's always clearer on the battlefield. Once I saw it in action, I could tell it was no fable. Never thought it'd come back to haunt me. Despite all my training and research, I never managed to master it myself. Huh. Huh. Yeah, right? It really is something special, then. Don't forget. One wrong move, and I'll cut you down. That's pretty funny. Uh, pick your missions earlier. The, uh, you've heard it's a power found. Those who walk are righteous. So that's me, man. I'm aware. I'm watching you. Yes, I get it. Just trust me. All right? Right. Let's check them up. This will all be for nothing if we get lost. Okay. Where are we going? This Some place. Uh, they're called the Nord Mines. Apparently, going through them would let us, uh, would put us near the capital, it seems. That being the case. This road should take us to the Grand Trad. All right. We'll check for a way around. Next stop at Grand Trad. So I think, like, us this moving around. Uh, like. Let's see. Oh, can I go straight through here? I mean, I'll stop here. Little complex paths. We can go through them to approach the capital Don't undetected. We're going through the Nord Mines. Are you ready? Yeah, Good. I think it. I think this consumes like, like traveling consumes like a day. The Nord Mines, 
Located northwest of Grand Trad, it is resource rich with magla crystals. Its proximity to the capital simplified crystal excavation, but the Sanctus Church's sudden proclamation of closure stopped work in its tracks. Exiting the forest, the party continues along the wooded road leading to the derelict mine. All right. The mine's entrance should be just up ahead. Don't stray off the path. Uh, huh? What's the matter? Did your wounds reopen? <laughs> What's up, Deboldia? How are what you? What happened? What happened? I may be imagining it, but I can't help but feel we're being watched. No. Hmm. This deep in the wilderness, though. Couldn't be. Sorry, Don't I'm just on edge. Looking for an opening to escape. Don't forget I have my eye on you. Maybe we are being watched. Look at that. Hey, look, up in the air. That large bird is known as a corvo. It stands, it stalks its prey from the sky, then goes in for an ambush. Mm. Ah, so what now? It seems like we need another addition to our list of problems. Maybe we can hide and wait it out. No, we need to keep moving. We're already low on time as is. Let me guess. You could move much faster if I died back there and you didn't need to keep an eye on me. Come on, have a little faith. Let's go. <laughs> Should I? If you're truly worthy, then demonstrate it. We need to move. Don't fall behind. All right. All right. Hold on there. There's some wild dogs over there. Hundos. These beasts hunt in packs. They should come at us together, but we'll be overwhelmed if we're not careful. We can't give them the chance to surround us. We'll need to find a different path for now. Why do you hesitate, lad? It's just a pack of wild dogs, barely worth a moment worry for someone such as you. Of course. Good. You're starting to catch on. You can't let the fear paralyze you. First, take a good look at your foes. Consider, is this your first meeting? Or are you already familiar with them? Got it. Okay, yep. Yeah, just uh, assessing the strength. It's weaker. These things are freaking weak as hell. Indeed, you slipped out of death's grip at the fort, so this should be hardly a challenge. Face sight, identify an enemy's strength via their color. Lower level enemies will be blue. Enemies of the same level will glow, will glow yellow. And higher level enemies will glow red. Unknown enemies will appear white. Okay. Oh, I missed that last point. Is that going to say that there? Weaker enemies can be defeated with a simple X attack. In addition, being attacked on the field by a weaker enemy will not force your squad into a- Oh, okay, so we can actually just kill stuff that's like shit. Thank you, Dorm. Thank you, Dems. If you press LB, when a cursor is over an enemy, you will lock onto that enemy. That enemy will be in view and can easily close the distance by attacking. Right. Understood? Now try it for yourself. There they are. How quickly can I close? Oh, okay. Alright, right, that's kind of cool. I think I did see that in a trailer somewhere where combat was like... If you're versing weak enemies, you can literally just do that. One more rule for you to keep in mind. Never drop your guard, even against weaker foes. On the battlefield, fortunes can turn if you slip up, uh, if you let up for even just a moment. Should that happen, change your tactics and fight together as one. Stay calm, you'll be fine. Press Y to initiate a squad battle against an enemy in the field. If you use Y to initiate a squad battle on an enemy after depleting its break gauge with X attacks, the battle starts with a great advantage in your favor. However, if you are attacked by an enemy stronger than you, you will be forced into battle where the enemy is at an advantage. Survey the situation and use different methods to fight. Never stop looking for ways to seize any tactical advantage. Fighting in dungeons. Evaluate the enemies in your vicinity, then decide whether you will dispatch them with a quick X attack to finish them, uh, to stun them first, or jump directly into a strategic squad battle. Face sight will help you determine your battle approach. All right. I mean, we're in a dungeon right now. There's no replacement for first-hand experience. Get comfortable with fighting before we reach the Grand Trad. I need to be sure you can defend yourself. Whoa! All right. This battle's out. Yeah. Let's go. Everyone, go. Easy. Retrying a battle. Wet chill. Skill section assist. Press L. Oh, okay. Jeez, they're pretty tough. What? Better be careful. Well, I, I don't know what they are. Uh, what they're weak to. Oh, okay. Grius is a, a teammate. Alright. Victory will help. Push 
<laughs> Dude, I love that we get XP for this. That's actually super... This is... Super good quality of life. Oh, wait. Weak? Okay, cool. I can't control my allies, though. It's kind of weird. Jumping a bird? Okay, yeah, that bird was going to destroy me. Is it solely me that, um... Am I only controlling Hernia Boy? Oh, uh... The vendor? Young Peddler. Haven't seen you a lot around these parts before. You wouldn't be bandits now, would you? You seem touchy yourself. You really think I look like a bandit? Oh, hell. Well, at the very least, I suppose you're not crooks. I guess I'm just- I guess I'm just an edge. I know it's funny to think, uh, so in a weird deserted place like this, but I feel like I'm being followed. We- we feel that as well, man. Alright. For instance, have you heard about the humans who appears from nowhere? The human who- wait. Have you heard about the human who appears from nowhere and wipes out entire towns? Terrifying, no? My apologies. Didn't mean to say out of the mood. Um, hey, would you love be interested in buying something? There's a human that disappears. I don't really want to buy anything. Oh, you found something worth selling? I can give you a good price. Plenty of stuff in these woods. Lots of rubbish. But some materials too. You wouldn't catch me scavenging for it today though. Stay put. Alright. Alright, we need to get stronger than these things so we can just one hit them. What do we got? Sturdy Shrom? Oh, I think these things with like a, a gem next to them are, um... Exchange. Okay, I assume, ex I assume exchange is, uh... Oh, 2.5k? I assume that's just... Shit we're supposed to sell. We have the edge. Let's go. Let's finish this. Keep it up. The three of them kind of cooked. But I think I, I press L? What was it? Tactics escape? It was a way to just like... Oh no, okay, there's no like auto thing. Dude, I might buy the addition with more battle music. I might actually spend the 150 bucks. I'm just gonna keep doing my strength. Thank you. This is our chance. Dude, I think the HUD is low-key much better than Persona 3. Like, Persona 3 was a good HUD, but I mean, for streaming... Shit's not, like, kind of on every part of the screen. Oh, shit. Why did I do that to the pretty bug? Oh, fuck. Hey! Anything that moves, man, that doesn't look friendly, I'm killing. Jesus. Destroy that bird. Thank you. Oh, there's another bird. Oh, I really don't have to fight all these things, but... I'm addicted, man. Halt. The air here is suddenly growing tense. Got a moment? Hey, what's going on? We've been surrounded. Even out here. It would seem that the monsters are the least of our concerns. I know you can hear me, so show yourself. Or would you rather we come at you? Wait, what? Aggressive soldier? Whoa, 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 chill guys, come on! It appears we must do this. I've never fought soldiers before. But I won't waver. God damn. Holy crap, my boy just went in. What is that? Never seen anything like it. That's not an igniter. Sorry. 
Let's do this. I'm being targeted. I'm being targeted. Okay. Press B to guard, which consumes one turn icon. Guarding greatly decreases the damage your character takes and prevents any weaknesses from being exploited. This prevents the enemy from gaining turns too. What's that? I can take, I think something's take coming. this. Watch out. So they like declare their attack. Oh, he missed. Blocked? Damn, that would have done a lot of damage to me. Shite. Shite. Utilizing formations effectively. During squad battles, your formation will affect the damage party members deliver and receive depending on their position. Those in the front row deal more damage with melee attacks. Those in the back row deal less damage with melee attacks, but take less damage from enemies. During battle, you can change your formation by pressing the keys assigned to up and down to move party members between rows. Interesting. Do I want... Oh, freaking cool, freaking cool. All right, all right. Do I want to heal? I take him out. Centerling, thank you for the restart, man. Guys, appreciate sure Centerling some love. Thank you, bro. How have you been? Yeah, the positioning thing is kind of cool. He's so tired. Alright, bet. How have you been today, Santa? Are they, sol are, they are they the soldiers from the fort? They survived. No, they couldn't be. They're simply deserters, aren't they? No, that's not, that's not what I'm asking. How could they have already mobilized a pursuit? I don't know, but I think it's safe to say I'm the least of your worries at this point. Any, in any case, we should probably keep moving. Let's go. Interesting. I'm keen for Black Ops 6 as well, man. It's going to be a good time. Here we are. It looks so creepy. Well, I guess you did say it was abandoned. Aye, the Crown Theocracy ordered it so. I haven't been to this place in quite some time. Despite the, the royal decree, I still hear of miners risking it all to come to this place, seeking the riches left within. I'll happily trade some illegal miners from for the armed detachment of soldiers pursuing us. Shall we hurry inside? You're not wrong there. Make preparations if you must, but be quick about it. So? Oh, this is a vendor out here. Thank you. Um, shortest route. Haven't you heard this place was abandoned, but a few blokes stayed behind to do some less than legal mining. One of them is an old friend of mine. I sell those stones he digs out. But enough about that. Surely we met for a reason. So if there's something you need, allow me to accommodate you. Um, I'll sell all that. This area used to be a, a quite a bustling hub. But these days, only the curious tend to get close. Of course, I made a fortune in those days. Now I'm lucky to get loose change. From the looks of it, the veins were far from depleted. So why did the Sanctus Church order the mine's closure? They were keeping shit to themselves or something. Alrighty. Oops, sorry, my bad. Oh, we should talk to them. So it wasn't just my imagination to think we were being followed this whole time, but like Grius said, something's off. When that human came out of nowhere, it wiped out all the soldiers to the last. Then again, maybe it didn't come out of nowhere. But if that's the case, no, it couldn't be. Last night's incident wiped out the, force, the fort's entire garrison. Surely they lacked the manpower needed to search for deserters. Somehow, we're already being pursued. Regardless, due to the nature of our mission, it's best we consider. Uh, it's best that they consider us dead. Let's push through this mine while we can. Wait a second. There's probably a bunch of shady miners in there, right? Will we be safe around them? Fear not. Most of them are the same miners who worked here before the closure. Besides, it'd be best. It, it, it'd be against their best interest to cause a scene and risk the crown theocracy coming down to this place, right? It sounds like there won't be a problem then. Let's go. Dude, I don't think it's going to be the miners, man. I think it's going to be monsters down there. The miners are probably like dead. Miners are probably already dead. Nord mines. However, It's dead quiet. Are you sure there are still people working here? That disquieting stillness you feel. Those are your instincts alerting you to the bloodthirst in the air. Judging by the people who were here after us... Uh, judging by the people who were after us before, then it's likely. Stop. Halt, Stop. deserters. Dude, it's been so good, Avion. 
You're trapped like rats now. Lay down your arms and surrender peacefully. As I thought, we've walked right into an ambush. They've got us at a disadvantage catching us in this narrow bottleneck. We need to turn back now. It's no use. The entrance is already barricaded with soldiers. Surrender immediately. You've got nowhere to run, and if you don't comply, huh, then the miners will pay the price for your insolence. Wait. This is a misunderstanding. We're not deserters. We were forced to retreat. We had no choice. A human... Oh yes, we're all aware of your predicaments. That's exactly why we can't have any survivors. Our orders are to let no one escape. Oh, it's a, con a conspiracy. Are they trying to keep the, the humans hidden? Are you playing this tomorrow, Bill? Hey there. So here they come. Stop them here and now. Fuck it. I think I can get the advantage. They just hit each other. Oh shit! Hold on, he just appeared behind him. I can't believe that was brilliant. That was brilliant. So if I'm good enough, I don't know. Ooh, okay, gang. If I'm good enough, I don't have to actually fight them. I can just like attack them. Over there, someone's collapsed. Injured miner. Hey, are you all right? I told you. I didn't see no deserters. Please, don't kill me. The life is gone from his eyes. What? Why? To send a message, boy. Either we give ourselves up, or these innocents pay the price. But the only one who could know we survived, and the only one who could send soldiers after us. Who? Oh, come on, let's move. Should I know who? Not the captain, right? Stop what right now! What? Isn't that... Just as I thought, it all makes sense now. It appears that we were expected. It was the captain! That rat! the only one who never went up to the fort itself after all it couldn't have been anyone else who would have thought three sorry stragglers would make it past a whole unit of assassins bastard you never intended for anyone to survive you knew the human would be there naturally you heard the reports i only put more bait on the hook I wasn't expecting that damn thing to be rampaging already. You sent those soldiers to their deaths. Why? Because the Kingdom's Guard is powerless before the humans, and only a pile of bodies will prove that to the public. So someone wants the King's Guard disgraced, and when the people need him most, a savior rises as their shield. Is that your game? Savior? Speak plain, boy. You think he's one of Luis's men? A pitiful flock needs its shepherd. If a little blood is what it takes to show them who their real savior is, then that's a price easy to pay. That's why those sons and daughters die. For your savior. <laughs> they aren't the first. The soldiers cry for reinforcements. The villagers plead to be spared. But I know better than to confront you. A human. A... A village. You refused. Oh, shit. Wait, then you were the one who... Seven years ago, the first flames day of June, a village in the northern hills was razed to the ground. A village called Harlia. Hmm? Oh, yes, that might have been a name. Oh, he's responsible for his family's death. Then you made a fatal mistake, Klinger. You left one survivor! Stay back! Help me! Nope. Ugh. You played right into our hands, you know. <clears throat> uh. 
This was the only road without checkpoints. A simple deduction. Uh, you're a disgrace to your title. I may not make it out alive, but as for you... Oh, do you reckon you're he gets a thing here as well? O oh, thou who art seared with bitterness, O oh, thou anguished traveler, it is time for thou to choose thy path. Oh, we all get a path Only type thing. Dark, whose light reveals the king's own path. Awaken. Light reveals the king's own path? He's like my... What? My right hand man. Uh, what the? Oh, no. I can't fail Lord Luis. Without him, I've got nothing left. Uh, you struggle in vain. I won't let you rob me of my glory. Wait, what the, the way of the real world, little Lord. Wait, he's got one as well? Wait, what? You call this real? Leaders abandon their people and the innocent die by their scorn. If that's the real world, then it can die alongside you. God damn! He punched that out. My name. Is Leon Stroll the Haliatus? My home and my family were taken from me. I am the last of my house. I am the last of my noble bloodline. And in the name of my people, I will strike you down where you stand. Yo, they got the crowd. What is this guy gonna look like? Oh shit. Show you a world with honor. Okay, okay, okay. What is this? Wait, he's got power like yours now. Well, better show him how to use it. Well, they said. I don't know what you think you're doing, but I'll not cave. Bro, isn't he scared at all? Like I mean, the the voice said that everyone has this power they can this awaken in them. Is all I need to turn you to ash. You lot, get to it. Is it because he's so on? He scampers off to protect himself, and his subordinates get to be his living shields. The man's showing his true colors. I mean, this is basically like everything Stroll is against, so I guess it makes sense that he'd awaken from this. But I wonder if like he's only awakening because he's like on my path, and just people around me will have this kind of like JoJo's with Sans. I'll fix the filthy coward with the end he deserves. The igniter's powerful, but it Stands takes care and calculation to wield. If you sense danger, steal your defenses and endure it. Diagonal slash deals weak physical damage to one enemy. Okay, so now I can control them both, I think. <laughs> Knock that motherfucker down, bro. Okay. Dude, they're so weak, man. What are they going to do against us? I shall vanquish evil. But they won't hold back. Let's go. Die. You are desperate. Cool. Are you Does he have any other move or anything? I don't think he has. I shall yeah. Vanquish evil. I'll cut you down. It's gonna like increase. Oh, critical. Okay. His defense is up. Does that like bother me? Am I okay with that? Take this. I can't. So I guess using physical attacks is gonna deal less damage. Die. Fuck him up, fuck him up. Die. Oh, oh, I'm weak. Okay, I'm weak to fire. I forgot about that. By this power. A tough one. Still standing. Are you prepared? Alright, we get the last hit here. Bye bye. Oh, I took his clothes. I took his freaking clothes, man. Oh shit, two levels? Oh. What are we doing? Maybe. Ah, uh, no, this is too strength again, man. Oh, this guy. Actually, no, I should be focusing strength on my other guy. Taru Kaja. Oh my god, very persona. Uh, increases one ally's attack for three turns. Oh, they show you the next skills you get as well. Petra Break. Chase support. Hero's passive. Make support attacks from your comrades happen more easily in overworld combat. Oh, okay. That's cool. Did I just replace that ability? I don't even know. Impossible. 
Do these and furries. I expected a commissioned officer would end up a wild-eyed zealot. How... How did I do all that? And without an igniter? Just like him. Who are you two, really? I... I'm Leon Strong. Just a fallen noble from the countryside. Back there, Klinger mentioned a village that was raised by a human. They sent for help, but he abandoned them. Halia was its name. I'm the son of its lord, and now I know what really happened. We sent our fastest riders, but we were doomed from the start. If Luis was behind it, then that's all I need to know. He's the one who'll answer for it. I have my own reason to fight now. I don't want to be an ally of convenience alone, so once more, please, let me join your cause. Bet, bet, bet. Sure thing. What do you say, Grius? <sighs> I see. Keeping an eye on you was too much trouble in the first place. So you've no objections? What say you, friend? Of course. Whoa. You're already one of us. We're brothers in arms. Don't get ahead of us. What do we say? We're, we're, we're brothers in arms. That's kind of real shit, man. That's kind of real. We're, we're brothers, man. But then you're already one of us. We're brothers in arms, my friend. Brothers in... Uh, yes. Okay, if Stroll dies, I'll do my best I will die. Honor. Now, onward. The proud noble, Stroll. Within him dwells the virtue of the warrior. The warrior? Oh, my A.O.T. And a new power yet slumbering within thee may awaken. Cool. Dude, I love Stroll. The party can now study the warrior. Amazing. I feel struck by inspiration. I found a new way to harness the power. this power. I can sense the heroic embodiment of the warrior from Stroll. Our heart and soul to the cause. <laughs> and our senior. Did you feel that just now? What's going on? Does it have something to do with that odd magic? Now that I think about it, once you awakened, isn't it weird that Stroll followed not long That's what after? I'm saying, man. Just say it's JoJo's. What does this mean? <gasps> Wait, what? Oh, we're going to the guy. The more. Hey, where are we? What just happened? Don't worry about it. Rising indeed. Somehow you find yourself here once more. And a fairy. I thought their kind long extinct. Do they yet take refuge in the Elden Sanctum? Hey, you gonna talk to me or just at me? At. We meet again, my friend. Though admittedly sooner than I'd expected. Remarkably, another has awakened. What miracle is this? Yes, that same power now stirs in your companion. Another of the mighty archetypes. Do you recall our discussion earlier about how archetypes are an original form of magic? Yeah, where's the golden arrow, right? Uh, how archetypes are an original... Yes, I'm just gonna say not really, just then... Uh, it didn't really sink in. No. Yeah, I'm kind of what you call stupid. As an elder, you are an outcast of society, yes? Your very identity is a kind of destiny you may defy but not escape. All mortals suffer under the weight of our burdens. But in facing and embracing that anxiety, you make it your innermost power. You find freedom. And so, the lives of those who overcome their heart. That was kind of badass. All mortals suffer under the weight of our burdens, but in facing and embracing that anxiety, you make it your innermost power. You find freedom. And so the lives of those who overcome their hardships and embody the virtues. And embody the virtues within are passed down as heroic tales. Right. Right, because these are like, apparently, the, the things we're embodying, the things we become, are like representations of... of heroic people in the past but they take on their literal form like Your companion it's like a literal form open to his true path and claimed its virtue that awakening is your doing you know he awakened to the archetype that protects you that's so badass hey, hold on a second who even are you how much do you know 
I'm warning you, if you mess with him, you're gonna have to go through me. Galaga, please. Uh, you two share quite a deep connection, don't you? Uh, I'm gonna put my fairy in my pocket. Always, but now we're partners to the end. We're linked down to the depths of our hearts. Right? <laughs> I guess so. Dude, I, I'm gonna... I'm just gonna shit on Ga Gallica the entire play. I think that's just so fucking funny, man. I guess so. I mean... I guess. Oh, come on! I thought we were a team. We have each other's backs, don't we? The mystical fairy, Gallica. Within her... Oh, she has one as well? ...the virtue of the mage. Nurture thy bond with her. And a new power yet slumbering within thee may awaken. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, that's not us shaking hands. I won't lead you the party can now study the mage. The whole I'm here. All right, Ben. I can sense a heroic embodiment of the mage from Gallica. Hey, wasn't that fascinating? Do you understand what just happened? By connecting with others who have found their resolve, you awaken to new strength. And further, you and all your allies may fight with the strength of any archetype in your circle. As mm. an example, your other companion, the fellow with the eye patch, he seems to have some training and knowledge regarding the wielding of an archetype. Mm. By his own account, nothing came of it. Yet, if you so desire it, you can awaken the true power within oh. you. What? You mean, Rias could use this power too? The nature of the Seeker. No. Perhaps it is simply your own nature. You truly are remarkable. If you seek answers, then go and claim them. You're jarkin. This right here. Um, let me have a look and see something here. Um... Where are you the one place for a friend? That, oh, the, um... The ones that have weapons? What are they called? There's a titan with all the weapons. Damn, Tay. Oh, let's read about humans. Human. Unknown monsters with bizarre forms unlike any natural beast. Their bodies hold immense amounts of volatile magla and they rampage through their surroundings indiscriminately. They're literally titans. Despite their berserk nature marking little sign of intelligence, they can wield advanced magic beyond the grasp of all sentient beings. Many aspects of their biology and ecology remain- Oh my god, bro. It's literally like- Okay, I love this already. It's-, it's If we learn about the, the, the humans in a way like with AOT, that's gonna be so cool. So excited for a hard dude de that- Okay, you're fucking trolling. You're trolling. Um, read about archetypes. Archetypes, a mysterious power, a mysterious power that Hernia Boy has awakened to. Shining, Magla engulfs the entire body, transforming it into a giant figure reminiscent of a hero. It seems to be some sort of magic, but clearly not the same kind as Igniters issued by the army. So not the same as Igniters. Everything about it deviates from what is commonly known as magic. Yeah, because apparently, apparently the, I'm like in the story as well. Like I control Hernia Boy. I don't really get how or why yet. Maybe I'm the reader of this fantasy, but I'm Hernia Guy, and then it made me name my character Hernia Boy. Yeah. Um, a mysterious room described by Moore. So this academia, a mysterious room described by Moore as a hall of wisdom. Reminiscent of a researcher's study, the chamber is filled with all manner of objects rarely seen elsewhere, from books containing secret knowledge regarding uh, archetypes to the forbidden texts and tools which are accurate which accurately map the movement of the stars among countless others forbidden texts and tools which accurately map the movement of the stars why is that specifically being mentioned um the prince's curse the lingering malevolent magic sustained by the prince during his assault 12 years ago at the time of the incident, great minds from all over the country attempted to break the curse, yet none were successful. Those who can see the flow of Maglis say it resembles poisonous briar vines entwined around the sleeping prince. What's Farsight? Oh, the Farsight mirror. Reflect- Oh, uh, a mysterious looking glass tinged with magic and trusted to Gallica by the resistance for her secret mission. This pair of identical mirrors reflect the view of the other. No matter the distance separating them, Gallica possesses one pair while the other remains by the prince, allowing her to check on his condition at any time. Very cool. Music and magic, wait. 
an unusual variety of magic that causes the listener to become aware of their state of mind through the form of sound and music. As it is a modest form of magic with seemingly no utility on the battlefield, it is considered meaningless, trifling skill in society, and thus rarely used. Is that like... Is that like reference to us playing a video game and like when the music gets intense, it means like... Like our emotions are intense? That's kind of cool. She metaphor on my Fantasio tool I read. What's up, Paper? How are you? Azantix, what's good? What's good? Wow. What are the resonant vessels... Mm. When an archetype's power causes a transformation, the first stage is that of the heart becoming a metallic object no of unknown origin. To activate the power, the wielder must announce their determination and their hopes for it into their newly made heart. So it's basically, it's like Persona. To activate the power, so hold on. To activate the power, the wielder must announce their determination and their hopes for it into their newly made heart, which urges the body to awaken. This outcry is akin to the battle cries of heroes, pa heroes uh, past, who were known to call upon archetypes in their face of danger too. It could be said that the tran transformations make the wielder an ideal version of themselves. Mm. Okay. Um. Shit, some of these had two pages. I keep forgetting that. Did the human have two pages? It did. So given there are natural physical resilience, large specimens can wipe out entire armies. Although there have been sightings of humans since antiquity, actual encounters are incredibly rare, and they have been long dismissed from being any real threat. However, recent years have seen them appearing with more rapid frequency across the Crown's lands, which has the people uneasy. I think so, yeah, same dev. I mean, yeah, I'm, I'm not surprised. I like that it's very similar to Persona, but they have their own... um. They have their own, what's it called? Uh, like, you know, it's like a, it's, it's being implemented differently. <clears throat> um, on Gallica, Gallica tried to stay resolute as Hernia Boy's chaperone, but as he gets involved in unexpectedly intense battle, she begins to doubt her role in the grand scheme of things. However, with the fairy's unique ability to deflect anxiety, she does her best to help the protagonist in whatever way she can. Whoa, she's like a, like a fucking antidepressant for me. Stroll, Leon Stroll, a young man of the Klimar tribe met at the recruitment center in the Grand Trad. A genial youth who values justice with a good head on his shoulders. He comes from a noble family, but seems to have a complex seems to have complex circumstances that led him to enlist in the army, typically a commoner profession. Though the new recruits grumble at being ordered to, def to refer to each other by their surnames in order to prevent over-familiarity, over Stroll doesn't seem to mind. So though the recruits grumble at being ordered to refer, so Stroll doesn't want his first, he doesn't like his first name. He's okay with being referred to as his, as, as his last name. On Stroll, the son of the noble family of Halia, a village that was destroyed by a human, now that he has lost his home and family, he only prides himself to redeem uh, himself, sorry, he has only his pride to redeem himself from the shallowness of his self, of his uh, past self. Do you know what's different aside from the story? Oh, pretty much everything. Pretty much everything. I mean, like, the only thing seems that you need to, like, um, find, like, a circumstance where you prove, like, your resolve and, like, you know, really... You, you, you awaken when you're on, like, the hero's path. So I guess that's my character. He was on the hero... He's on the hero's path right now. So he awoke to, um... To this form, to the, uh... To his archetype which is like from a hero's past, but that's about it. You still like, you still like build relationships with other characters and stuff. French onion sun chips are a crack. I think I've had those. Arvid Grius, a veteran rogue warrior. And it, this is like more like, um, there are different uh, races involved, different, uh, um, different tribes and people look differently. And there's a whole bunch of like, you know, racism and shit. Uh, Arvid Grius. A veteran rogue warrior and resistance member alongside Hernia Boy and Gallica. He infiltrated the ranks of the army and has been working as a covert operative. Gallica was entrusted with delivering secret orders to him. Um, Forden Lewis. So this is the big bad guy. He's, uh, he's a genius. Louis Gearburn. Louis Gearburn, a Klima, uh, sorry, I don't know if it's Klima or Klemmer. A Klemmer Royal Army officer of great renown who managed to become nobility at an exceptionally young age. He possesses extraordinary skills as both a warrior and an archmage, but even more highly regarded are his capabilities as a military strategist. 
but which his superior insight and grasp of psychology set him apart. His, his faculties uh, as a young soldier were so shrewd that his own alliance came to grow weary of him, calling him a monster in the making. He prized his rationality above all else, strictly adhering to a policy of appointing officers by their capabilities alone without regard for their tribal origin. Oh, not racist, cool. As a result, senior officials accuse him of trying to undermine tradition. Wait, well, that's kind of good. Wait, I kind of like Luis. I like Luis, man. However, he now wields an influence far beyond a typical officer and may believe he will be the youngest, and many believe he will be the youngest person to ever be appointed the army's highest ranking position of general. So the youngest general. Dude, the, 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 the writing is like a little bit close to each other, no? They blew up a casino in Vegas? Wait, really? Sorry, guys, we're just going through lore of the characters. Um, I do want to know absolutely everything. How did they blow it up? Captain Klinger. Fuck this guy! The captain in charge of the new... The captain in charge of new recruits... Dude, there has to be... Like, I might actually have dyslexia. There has to be a dyslexia filter. Uh, the captain in charge of the new recruits at the recruitment center. A short, portly, unsoldierly man called incompetent fool by stroll after an attack on the fort led him to new... Uh, so he basically sent in a bunch of recruits to die. So, in actuality, he is a fervent supporter of Luis and had always planned to take a mass of new recruits to die at the hands of humans in order to demonstrate his support for Luis's assertions. So this is like the red velvet, uh, red velvet cake, uh, the, the velvet room guy. This is like our Igor, I assume. Uh, more, an enigmatic young man imprisoned in a peculiar study called Academia. He first contacted Hernia Boy during a particularly trying moment by somehow linking their consciousnesses. Though he is undoubtedly an ally, Oh, undoubtedly an ally? Okay. Many, mysteri many mysteries surround him, such as his knowledge that igniters are not essential to magic, or his profound expertise on archetypes. This motherfucker would have to have, like, a crazy archetype. He'd have to have something nuts. He's hiding something. It was an old, uh... Oh, okay, they closed it down. They blew it up. Wait, that's kind of, that's kind of, like, extra. That's kind of cool. Yeah, so apparently, at the very start of the game, I named myself Hernia Guy. And then I had to name the main character after Hernia, like I just called him Hernia Boy. But I wonder how that plays a role in it. Cause like this whole thing is supposed to be like a fantasy. So I think I'm actually the reader or something. I don't know. I don't know. Um, Spot packs, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Uh, mage, a general term for those that have a good command over magic form. It refers to those who have achieved a national qualification to professionally use magic. However, as many commoners have difficulty discerning those who are formally qualified, this catch all term rose to prominence. Uh, traveling Peddler, just a guy that sells shit. All right. Fantasy novel. The book Hernia Guy carries with him. It is a memoir-style novel depicting a country with neither magic nor a notion of tribes, where people are not discriminated by birth. Quite literally, a fantasy world. Kind of interesting. All right. Um, I mean, we could actually look at the Prince's Assault here. An assassination attempt on the prince 12 years ago. So I was best friends with the prince. Assailants infiltrated the pa uh, the palace to attack the prince as he was sleeping, catching the royal guard by surprise with their sudden appearance within the secured grounds. Though these loyal guards gave panic uh, gave a panic chase, they ultimately made a cataclysmic blunder. Not only did they allow the prince to be harmed, but they failed to capture the assailants or even ascertain their details. The assailant who made direct contact with the prince was a mage who fled the palace after casting a high-level curse. Thanks to the efforts of the royal healers, the prince avoided an, an untimely demise, but they were unable to free him from this affliction. According to the royal guards who fought the band of assassins, they, the only clue regarding the identity of the mage was they were patently not an adult. This assailant, who was able to arrange a sneak attack within the palace, had masterful command of high-level curse magic and the appearance of a child. By all accounts, the only person to match these unique criteria is Luis, who was afterwards strongly condemned by all in the palace. However, no evidence could be found, and justice is still yet to be served. I can't remember, at the start of the game, did Luis actually... Was it mentioned that Luis actually did kill the prince? Maybe it wasn't Luis. Why, why do I feel like it actually might not have been Luis? He definitely killed the king, because we saw him kill the king. It's just presumed? I swear he mentioned something like I have to, like having to deal with another one of these motherfuckers. 
Huh. All right, well, we'll figure it out. What I'm about to show you is a lineage chart of the archetypes I've been researching. That said, there are many yet to see, so it's far from complete. Each of you has your own chart. You will use these charts to assign. Uh, you will use these charts in the assigning of archetypes. Well, Firstly, let us consider the one-eyed warrior, who yet bears no archetype. Oh, Grius, lol. All right. This here. This is the chart that shows the power and connection of the archetypes. You can gain a new archetype by selecting one here and studying its powers. To study, you will need Magla, the source of all magic. But simply drawing from the Magla within yourself will put too heavy a burden on you. What this means is that you will need to gather mag from your battles. Oh, oh okay. So I have, to, I have to level up mag, I guess. Oh, no, no, no. I, I grab mag. That's right. I pick it up. Each character can study archetypes obtained through the story by selecting corresponding icons on the tree. Studying archetypes consumes mag. Oh, and a minuscule, uh, minuscule shards of uh, magma crystals. Uh, once a character has studied an archetype, you can use uh, the main menu to change the channel. Okay. That means to learn is to change oneself, they say. Here, you may achieve that through the study of archetypes and their deepest secrets. Now, I'd like you to choose an archetype from among these. So this is for Grius. So can Grius also turn into this? So, um, Seeker learns versatile skills including wind magic, single target healing, and attack buffs. Mage, use fire, ice, electric magic. It excels hitting enemies' weak points. Warrior. Skilled in physical slash attacks with a sword. Can cut down foes with strong single target damage. I mean, I think... It, I, I mean, I guess I give him mage because no one's a mage, but I don't think... It changes his weapon. Right, okay. I mean, he's not really a mage, but I'll, I'll give him that. This right here. An, ex, a, an expert in magical attacks of three specialties. Um, specialities. Fire, ice... And electric. Such a broad palette of magic or offense can be crucial to exploit enemies' weaknesses. Note, however, that a mage's defenses are paltry at best. They cannot endure much harm. They are best kept out of foe's attention. Okay, so I could I should put them in the back. In the back row. They also tend to go through their MP fast, and a mage without MP, well, they're practically dead weight. You'll have to use your magic strategically to succeed. Right. 500 mag is required to channel the mage. This is the archetype you've chosen. I mean, I don't know how long I'm keeping Grias for. Yes, he's earned my trust. So be it, following you and the young man called Stroll, another worthy wielder of archetypes joins your ranks. From this sanctum, I shall speak to the heart of the man with the eye patch, Grius. Feel his resolve and let a new soul dwell within his heart. Thank you, Azza. Thank you, thank you. Bet, bet, bet. I hear the voices of past heroes' souls. O worthy heart, who tempers anxiety into strength. If thou art prepared to pursue knowledge that surpasses the natural logic of the world, I shall bestow upon thee our soul, the soul of the mage. Hmm, what is this? Is it truly an archetype? This is the same magic I once strove for. I can't believe it's finally within my grasp. The mage archetype is awakened. You now channel. You can now change archetypes from this uh, from the main menu. I didn't think I could grow anymore. <laughs> oh, gee. All right. Damn. Well, I showed him he could grow more. Captain's uniform. Fascinating. The man with the eye patch should now have woken to an archetype. Similarly, I can imbue you and that and that noble youth with a new archetype's power. Feel free to experiment. All right. I mean, okay, so this is for him. So I can go to me. Right, I can switch it up. Okay, so we can be whatever. We can we can like be whatever. I mean, I'll just stick with this. I think it's fine. Academia. By talking to more in Academia and studying archetypes, you'll be able to unlock and then use new archetypes. You can gain useful strategic knowledge by attending Moore's lectures or by reading books from the surrounding bookshelves. Some functions in the main menu are now available, such as changing your archetypes. Archetypes that have been studied in Academia can be swapped out in town or dungeons uh, at any time. Changing them to suit your needs is a good strategy. You can now check the status of your royal virtues, the qualities necessary in a king from the main menu. You can raise these virtues in many ways. Royal virtue, so this is what we need. Wow, this is such a cool menu. Okay, my dad sneezed a hundred times in a row once. Alright. This is such a cool menu. Um Uh, what are we? Where can I see? Party? 
This is fucking dope, man. Details? Where do I see it? Forge bonds? God damn! Alright. Quest? Save the prince from death's curse? Calendar? Study notes? No, I think Ross likes it. I think I think Ross fucks with the menu. I think I think he did like it. Oh, they got a cat! Wait, let me talk to the cat. That's a good kitty. Hmm? Don't usually see these kind of cats in the this city, cat, huh? You see. Cute, isn't he? I named him Plateau. He's the only solace I have as I can find as I'm confined here. Looks like Plateau wants to give me something. Hero's incense. That's a good boy. It looks like it's taking a shine to you. That's a valuable item. So do hold on to it. Okay. Which book should I read? Yielding turns, guarding formations, negated attacks? Allowing your ally to take action instead of and leaving yourself vulnerable may seem futile at first glance, but you'll find it lends many strategic strategies. Try to consider the many aspects of battles, such as the order of turns, advantages against the enemy, and the state of your allies when deciding your actions. The pass action cycles the control to the next character while only consuming half the turn icon. This can be useful when the current character skills are not effective enough against the enemies. Okay. Guarding. Greatly did- yeah, okay. I mean, yeah, we know that, that's fine. Um, formations. Rewards of certain victory- wait. Overpowering an enemy utterly can be a source of immense growth. If you crush all your enemies without getting damaged, you'll receive bonus experience points. Okay. Oh. Uh, not now. Okay. Spinning model? Oh yeah. It spins around. Is it like a toy? Awfully big if so. That's a celestial globe. It models the movement of the stars. Astronomy is often confused with the study of magic. Times, be times being what they are, the association means both fields have been suppressed. Quite a shame. Right, so the suppressed side- Okay, so like, uh, the magic's looked down upon? The scroll has shapes of a language I've never seen before. It must be some kind of formula. It says the royal magic at the top. That is... That's a formula for a rather complex spell. When mages devise such intricate magic, they commit the formula to scrolls in advance. What? Hold on, are you saying the king himself wrote this? Why would it be here of all places? I couldn't begin to tell you. Perhaps the previous king had reasons for imprisoning me here after all. I would love to decipher its contents, but it would take a good amount of time. It's written in a script I've never laid eyes on. But, but before you go, there's just one thing. Would you mind taking a look at the very end of the scroll? Right, so then he's probably going to be deciphering the magic throughout the game. And then we're going to like... The spell's going to do something? This drawing. Indeed, it's no more than a simple illustration. But do you not think it bears some resemblance to the Seeker archetype? Moreover, it bears a caption. And mysterious enough, of all the language therein, there is one part I'm able to pass. It says, Hernia guy. <laughs> Dude, imagine, imagine the, the uh, ancient scripture just having the word hernia guy. It says hernia guy, likely the name of a person, unmistakably so, though I could not be begin to tell you what. I mean, th that's me, man. Oh shit, that's me, man. Wait, that's me. I forgot we have really similar names. That's actually me, the player. Wait, that's, I forgot. Yeah, it's hernia boy. So moreover, it bears a caption. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Simple illustration, but do you not see... I do you not think that it bears some resemblance to the Seeker archetype? Moreover, it bears a caption. It says Hernia Guy, likely the name of a person. Well, that's certainly a mystery on top of an enigma. It makes me wonder what it says. Adieu. Should you learn anything new, I would appreciate it if, uh... I would appreciate it very much if you'd share it with me. Please examine the scroll whenever you'd learn new truths. That's kind of badass. Okay, so yeah, like me as the player, I actually have like a role. The most effective way to form your party is to consider the balance of attack, recovery, and assist. 
If you obtain information about enemies in advance, you can arrange archetypes to counteract enemy. Cultivate your archetypes strategically. Okay. Enemy reinforcements, wielding weapon. I mean. Wait. While in dungeons, the protagonist's method of attack depends on his weapon. It can be changed by switching the archetype he has challenged. Different archetypes both uh, change the actions available to you and the protagonist's attack range. Okay. Cool. Um, <laughs> JC. Fuck, there's a lot to read, man. Advanced archetypes? You may seek even more powerful forms of each archetype to study them. One must grow closer with, the certain, with certain supporters and cultivate the original archetype. Each archetype has at least one stronger, more advanced form you will eventually be able to study. Advanced archetypes can be studied after achieving a higher rank with its corresponding follower. However, studying an advanced archetype will require both mag and ranking up the base archetype enough. Okay, I mean, that's cool. Uh, what else we got? Looks like research documents about the seeker archetype. In times of yore, there lived heroes who ventured into unknown lands uh, in pursuit of their ideals. Their souls together formed the power of the Seeker. This was not just one legendary hero. Across many lands and eras, those intrepid spirits who sought greater heights on the Seeker's path have borne that alias. Among them, the adept who pursue a magical path I dubbed the Magic Seeker, and the elite who seeks the deepest truths of the soul I dubbed the Soul Hacker. Am I the soul hacker? So the seeker archetype has a whole sequential lineage. The seeker archetype does not excel at any one skill, but it bears the specialties of many of other heroes and can perform any task. A jack of all trades is a master of none. Let no seeker forget this I truth. See. I get it. So it's, e it's easy to use, but that's not enough to fight alone. I guess fighting with specialized allies might be the thing that draws out its power. What now? Right. I see. So I'm so the seeker's like the main one, right? And I think the soul seeker might be its trans transformation. And we seek we're, we're like looking for for better ideals, which I guess is kind of what my character is like on about, right? This looks like research documents about the mage archetype. In times of yore, there lived heroes who sought relentlessly to, tra to unravel the secrets of magic. Their souls together form the power of the mage. Among them, the adept who grasp at ultimate knowledge I dub the wizard, and the elite who commands the elements I dub the elemental master. In addition, another elite form, uh, another, in addition, another elite form making use of dark magics is known to exist. Truly, the mage archetype is unparalleled command of affinity-based magic. There's a, a dark magic, okay. <clears throat> The mages devote themselves fully to mind and magla. While the mind is powerful, it must kneel before pure strength at times. Let no mage forget this truth. Okay. So it's a great archetype for hitting enemy weak points. That's kind of cool how they explain it though. This looks like the research document of the warrior. Did I, was it even a document? Did I just make that up? Oh no, it is. In times of yore, there lived heroes who sought nothing less than perfection with a sword. Their souls together form the power of the warrior. Among them, the adept who slays hordes I dub the Swordsmaster, and the elite of the blade I dub the Samurai. The warrior archetype imparts peerless skill with the sword. Its devotees belong to the front lines, punishing their foes with brutal slashing swings, but a sword's purpose is ultimately as a weapon, and it is not weapons alone that decide battle's victor. Let no warrior forget this truth. They're not versatile beyond the sword, okay. And then I guess these, right, okay. So these are the new ones. So we have all these other archetypes to unlock. Whoa, hold on. They actually have the names. Wait, they actually have the names. Okay, so... The Knight. So I guess maybe like a shield, sword and shield. So a good mix. Thief. Masked Dancer. Summoner. Berserker. Healer. Gunner. Brawler. Faker. Merchant. Commander. Huh. I wonder if those are gonna be the other archetypes we can we can find. Also, this carpet looks like fucking tire treads. That's kinda cool. That's a good kitty. 
Did we get? Uh, did anything else like appear? Maybe. Okay. Please do make yourselves comfortable. What would you care to know? I don't think I need this. So the music is goaded, right? You want to know about cats? Uh, about that cat in particular? Hmm? I'm afraid is a mystery to me too. Dear as he is, when I work in this place, That's he was already boy. here. But he eases my mind. Petting him helps the help. Petting him helps this place feel less lonely. Indeed, I feel as though I've known him all my life, for whatever reason. What if this cat? What if when he got transported here, this cat is like someone he knew in real life? That could be kind of interesting. Dude, I'm just theorizing everything, man. I wonder if this represents archetypes. It also looks like a merging of all the tribes. Huh. All right, a lot of mystery. It's so quiet. Do you think anyone else is here? This place. What is this place? Is it a dream? If it is, it's a very vivid one. How do I get out? Is it just through here? Hi, young friend. You are truly as remarkable as I first believed. Others fated to awaken to their own power will be naturally drawn to you. To reach the lineage of power's greatest potential, you must acquire more archetypes. and bring them together. All right. After all, a hero without allies is nothing more than a lone dissenter. To save the many, you must learn to fight with the power of many. Only a champion of the people may awaken the power of heroes. I have and to become a true king. Sees a future of their own making. <sighs> when next you come to see me, I hope it shall be of your own volition. Open my book and let your imagination conjure this place anew. As vividly as you can make it. I'm sure that will be enough to reunite us. As long as you walk your path, I shall faithfully watch over you. May we meet again. Cool. That was dark. Fuck, I completely forgot where we were. Where are we? For real, where are it's we right now? Right there. Looked as if you were in some kind of trance. Yeah, I was going crazy. Trance? Wait. Have we been here this whole time? It was strange. As if I felt something in the air. Burgess evolved. My senses sharpened near tenfold. It reminded me of my old days studying magic. What? So that wasn't a dream? Grius, that's probably his power. You studied back at the Sanctum, right? I know you couldn't get the hang of it then, but... I think we might have just awakened it. I told the two about the term archetype and the gist of what why, what I learned. And they fucking executed me. Awakened it? But that... Who are you people? Who are you people? The truth, if you would. Look, in all honesty, we barely know any more than you do. But the short version is... Well... I think you can use that power now. Uh, I think you might be right. The way it feels is... Well, this is magic, eh? I'd all but given up on it, but fate had other plans, it seems. Enough. We must move on. There is far to go still. And lad, I follow your lead now, at least when it comes to how we use these skills in battle. We haven't the luxury of time to train with magic. Same here. You've clearly got a sense for this, and I'd rather make myself useful than muddle your strategies. Remember that? Auto battling and tactical orders, you can now give instructions to your allies during battle. During battle, you can use uh, Thingo to engage in auto battle. Okay. To change auto battle tactics during battle, press RB to uh, access the auto view outside of battle. Find them. Okay. We have five days until the funeral. That's precious little time, and we'd best not waste it. Yo, what's up, Stray? Dude, it's really good. Look. I like it a lot. Look over there. What's up? What's the matter? You don't see anything? I don't see anything off. What are you talking about? So no one else sees him. Well, maybe we're the only ones who can go into that room. Oi, oi, are you lot all right? Pardon? I saw a dead miner and assumed there had been some accident. But looking at it now, that isn't the case at all. It was a military. What business would they have in a place like this? Hold on. Don't tell me they're after the miners. Wait, how did you get in here? I'm certain the entrance and exit were sealed off by soldiers. Soldiers? I didn't see anyone. Only, only, uh, only one that was uh, a pasty fella. Looked like 
Some kind of general. You mean Klinger? But we left him splayed out over there. Wait, what? None of this happens? Huh? He's gone? Oh, no, he left. Damn it. We must go after him. It'll be bad if he returns with reinforcements. No. Leave him be. He has no one else left, I wager. He was bluffing about sealing off the exits. On top of that, he failed to finish us off. He won't be able to return to Luis as anything but a disgrace. Sure. The Velvet Guy has Dira's voice in Japanese. Wait, really? No, wait, wait. The Velvet Guy has Dira's voice in Japanese? It's Trolley's Jornos? Okay, I have to I have to Google that. You're right. Let's let's uh, leave him be. At least for now. It's not like he can go, he can go back to the military uh, either way. After what he said to us. Sorry. I have no idea what this is all about, but I'm relieved. I was worried everyone would be dead in here. I'm going to go around. Uh, I'm going to be around for a while. If you need anything, you know who to ask. Uh, the protagonist in Gallica can see more in dungeons or towns. Interact with him to take a moment, read your novel, and transport to academia. Use uh, select to see what level other players were. Oh, okay. When selecting information to review, you can also change your party's formation. Oh, so I can see how good other people were. What am I? Do I see my levels anywhere? Does it like show mine? Level 7, level 8, level 9. Imagine someone's like max fucking level. Oh, and you can like switch it. Oh, I can really? No, where was I? Do I have to restart the game? Yeah, I want to hear his voice. What I've now? seen, dude. I like barely even fought anyone. I was, uh. Oh, that's so good. Yeah. Can you not He's not gonna fully talk. Wait. Oh, I fucking hear it. I, I definitely hear the deer. I hear the deer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's fucking sick. I would play in Japanese, but that definitely will not help with uh, chat's attention span with reading. Okay, I like how quick you can change language though. Let's go back to reality. How, how much more do I have at the demo? By the way, I don't know if I should change the rod. Damn it. We can't let Klinger get away. He won't get away. I know this is no time for relentless pursuit, but this doesn't sit well with me. Above all, the mission is our priority right now. We must reach Grand Trad before the royal funeral. Besides, if Luis is the mastermind behind all this, there's one thing for me to accomplish. He must be assassinated. I will do everything I can to make that happen. I will continue to count on you. Three out. Oh, shit. Okay. Ah, that was nearly it for me. Sorry you got dragged into all of this. Most of the guards' soldiers aren't a hundred-inch maniacs if it helps. Right. Considering you're apologizing, I guess you weren't the bad guys. I see why Klinger stooped to using hostages as bait. A worthless captain, but he certainly had an eye for new recruits. A surefire tactic against your like. I'm heartily ashamed. That aside, you're not passing through these caves, are you? You best turn back for now. Something nasty is in the air lately. These gelat g gelatinoses jiggling around in there. They're not like uh, little jellies anymore. They're downright dangerous. Try chasing them away, but a blade doesn't do much. Fire's our best shot. Or getting someone with it ignited to blossom. Didn't used to be many of them around, but now uh, there's so many we might as well clear them out. Okay. Okay, rescued miner, you talk like a fucking bum. Not gonna lie. The king's funeral is upon us. We haven't the time to look for other routes. Yeah. Not much else we can do then, but we should at least make sure we can use some magic. Okay. Yeah, fair. I, I've been reading everything, completing everything, so it'll probably take me a bit too. I wouldn't go any further if I were you. The mining areas felt strange lately. Not just monsters. There are some dangerous magla crystals that mesmerize uh, that mesmerizes them. Or so are the clays. Wait. There's some dangerous magla crystals that mesmerizes them. The monsters. Like enhances them? Enhances them? I thought, it, I thought it merely superstition. But either way, it's not normal. Just be on your guard. The music is so good, right? 
Um, I mean, this is another one hour VOD. I, I assume we just, we're going to be fighting our way through the dungeon here. <clears throat> What's this? This uncanny feeling in the air. This, place. this magla feels awfully dense. The magla feels awfully dense too. Was it always like this? It was not. This used to be a completely mundane mine shaft, no different from Nothing the others. The Perhaps this is what my, the miner was talking about before. Something about the interior of this place being unusual. Assassinating Luis is our top priority. Let's not forget that. Prepare yourselves for now. But we'll have no time to rest until we're through here. Mind their numbers and watch your health carefully. We clear? While moving, press up to use auto recovery. Okay. Be careful. Bad, bad, bad. Okay, they're weak to fire. Can I just like pass my turn? I can, right? Like, I, I should just pass because. Are you prepared? Oh, this guy doesn't have fire though. Fuck, I thought he had fire. Oh, you gave everyone different archetypes? Wait, I. All, my, my whole squad has different archetypes too. Should I just set them all to magician? Dude, Ross, I'm loving it. It's really good. I've been reading like absolutely everything. Oh, Australia, are you playing on the hardest difficulty? I'm playing on normal. Whoa, what the fuck is it? Oh, shit. Okay, that thing. Oh my god, that thing slapped me. One's on, I see. Power of heels. Resist? Okay. Oh, I'm weak. Hold on. Oh, In shit. Name of I might have to actually heal. Wait, can I even... Hold on. Use item? Oh, wait, no. That's the wrong one. Sorry. Thanks. Five fangs kind of brutal. Oh shit! So they have like their own kind of attack first. Oh, I'm gonna move him back. Um. Better be sure. In the name, I shall vanquish evil. Dude, it's freaking guarded, man. They got balls on their chins. I didn't even notice. I'm fucking with this game hard, not gonna lie. It feels like very, very refined, like... Well, not even refined, but it's just... Uh, the combat is a lot faster than Persona. I, I never had a problem with Persona's combat. But it's just different, like... The fact that that's how you, like, start combat there, and you can just kill enemies that are weaker than you is fucking sick. Not this one, changing stats. Let's seek her! Is there another this is where like kind of weak to no slash now. Yeah. The story is super, super like interesting as well. I didn't have to do that. This is weak to the uh, resistant to that. And I just wasted MP. I like the characters too. I think the characters are pretty cool. Um... Oh, fuck me. I attacked too many times. I didn't even see- Am I dead? What happens if my bro dies? Can I res? Wait, surely, right? Fairy dust. Holy shit, what happens when he dies, guys? In the name, I okay, I actually- I fully see the testicles on the chins now, by the way. I didn't really notice them before. Okay, at least- at least the whole game doesn't restart when one person dies. So I just even- yeah, fair enough. Not for the snakes. Let's go. Overkill. It should not. Nice. 
All right, does he like? Okay, he comes back like kind of tired. So then, what does up do? What? They didn't tell me what auto recover uses. Did, did that use anything? Kind of badass. Let's come forth, royal soul. Because we're getting crazy his attack. No holding back. Good one, strong. Always comes through. Any means necessary. It's okay. We can do this. Oh, there's free combat and turn-based combat in these games. Well. I mean, it just lets you pick which enemies. And I guess, like, in Persona 3, there's no free combat, really. It's just... It's just if you attack an enemy first, you get the advantage. Gives me ice damage. Okay. You get the advantage. But then here, the free combat functions as a way for you to not have to actually, like, combat, like, these enemies. So I didn't have to engage in that fight in turn-based mode because that guy was too weak for me. But I can still choose to. I can still choose to if I want to. I think that's pretty good. Yeah, because there's so many weak enemy, like weak things I don't want to fight. That I mean, that's why I dropped the difficulty in Persona 3. Miner's boots. That's why I dropped the difficulty in Persona 3. It was just taking way too long. Yeah, it's qual quality of life to make things faster. And then like, it's basically the same as Pokemon where you can not encounter creatures, I guess. By like just walking around them. But then you also get the boost of like attacking them first before they attack you. That's not all either. I'm sensing Magla and the feeling's only getting stronger. It's disturbing. Like back at the fort. Same as the fort. Surely you don't mean. Fear is a luxury we can't afford right now, lad. Gallica's words are cause for concern. But for now, we must keep going. Look. Look closely, lad. There's a gap between those collapsed rocks. We should be able to squeeze through if we go one at a time. Someone's gonna get left behind. Left behind. Alright. Yeah, it's good. So then I don't have to fight these guys. Ooh, this one I do though. This one's a little bit too strong. I think I should be able to see the levels here. Hold on. Oh, fuck me, dude. That tail was kinda. Oh my god, there's three things. Four. Wait, we fight everything in the room. Wait, this is fucked up. Holy shit, that dodge was terrible. I should use fire. I don't know why I didn't use fire. I trolled. Holy crap! Yeah, dude, this is this is messed up. It seems the hitboxes on the enemies when you're uh, uh, running around in the overworld are actually pretty accurate. It's in like their move hitboxes. It's not like every move is the same. Um, okay, I could hit the, these guys. These guys are weak to fire. Um, I'm going to increase the damage of Stroll. Stroll is gonna one hit. I think he can one hit this thing. There we go. Fuck. Don't kill protagonist again, bro. Jesus. Another five thing? Oh my fucking god, dude. The two moves. <gasps> one more boy left. Alright, shit. Hold on. I think I'm gonna pass the turn a little bit more. I think passing the turn would actually be beneficial. Oh my god, he didn't die. That's so sad. Yeah, trivial. We're fine. We're chilling. We're chilling. 
I guess, I guess it doesn't matter on this difficulty. But I think I definitely have to like move. Oh, he blocks this way. Oh my god, I actually just grieved. Well, we live and we learn. I think I'm dead. Dude, okay, I died. He did 24 damage and I had 23 health left. All right, that's our first death. Will this be on Game Boy? I fear not. Do we restart at... Oh, uh, we restart all the way back here. Okay. I definitely have to... Oh, shit. Wait, that motherfucker's stunned. Oh, no. He's like... Yeah, dude. The bindings are different, right? Like, it... A was, like, basic attack before, yeah? I gotta, like, not go as fast. Going back to Persona would be... I don't... Why did they change the bindings? Um... Let me help. Helpful as ever. I call upon royal power within. Uh, <laughs> dude, I just yeah, I just trolled, I just trolled. Okay. I could just heal myself. I think I killed them both in this move. Dude, the music is so Final Fantasy. I freaking love it. Dude, I might have to buy the more expensive version so I can hear the other songs that apparently play. Wait till I get- yeah, wait till I play the actual game. Yeah, that's my only death in the demo. The bro's uh, on fire. Remember it's pissing you off? I think Sinner changed a bunch of hours today. But I know, right? They're so extra. So there's no like collecting things in this then. Like it's not like Persona where you collect. Collect them. I'm kind of indifferent about Spooktober. Don't mind it. I don't hate it. All right. Did we just leave the mine? Oh, nope. Definitely did not. Fuck. I see the enemy. Holy crap. What the fuck is this thing, man? Gang, on gang, what is this? Holy. My B day is coming up, dude. Do not remind me. It's weak to ice, guys. Watch. Told you. Had to be. Just, no, it just literally had to be. Heat up. Passive increases all physical attack by 10%. Attack increases further if archetypes of the same lineage are present. I'll cut you down. Let's seek her. Turning third. Okay, not turning third. What the fuck? The power of you. In the net warrior. They die hard. Oh, bro. Like, really? You're gonna be on fucking one health? Yeah. Holy crap. Feral crush. Okay. Protagonist, you don't have to die. Why do they sometimes get a different move? I'm gonna throw the protagonist at the back, bro. This motherfucker sucks. Guys, I'm not turning 30. I'm turning 20, 22. What the fuck? What is, what is healing all allies using? Forever 22. I'm feeling 22, right? Six years and 11 months ago. Taylor Swift reference. Oh wait, this guy's here, what the fuck? That guy's badass. Dead. See ya. Almost finished. Come forth, Royal Soul. Wind. 
Last one. Blades ready, lads. They're copying? No, I'm, I'm, uh... I'm 20... 25 right now. 25 right now. Jesus Christ. That's, am I 25? Oh, my God. Fuck that. Enemy source. You see the enemy. Time for some close. Oh. That's look, is that true? That's actually true, right? Oh, nice, nice. Here. No holding back. Dead. What the fuck? Not dead. Seeker. Maybe not. Is attack only the physical attacks? It must be right. Oh frick! I should have passed the turn. I, I can pay, pay attention to my turn counter. Ball he missed. Idiot. Okay, let's pass. Oh, that's not even pass. That's just fucking god. All right. You see use for it? I say take it with you. Push through. Charging in. That should come in handy. Pocketed. Pocketed. Two. How's that? Catch. Well done. Unscathed. Ooh. Wait, wait, I missed some loot there. Wait, did I? I'm missing some shit. There's a big fucking one back here. I'm right here. Ooh. This could be our choice. Nice. Go down. Oof. What did I just hit? Nice, thank God. I shall vanquish evil. Let's wrap this up. Finish Woo, goodbye. Football is at the prime in 28. Wait, actually, when do they like leave their prime? I shall rise to the occasion. Ah, uh, Misa, thank you for follow. Or Mize, however you say that. Nice. We're so lucky. I'm gonna try it for Manu. They need me. They need a you cheesy. They need all cheesy on Manu. Fuck, I'm not gonna lie. Um, Mize, I um, I do have a 4090, so that probably does help a lot. And I have I have everything maxed, and I'm at 200. Um. 200 resolution scale or 300 so it's kind of hard but the game should be running better than what it is right now i'm getting 90 fps um but i did hear that there were what's it called uh wait can i get the map up somewhere yeah i did hear that there were some performance issues for a lot of people i hope you enjoy the game though hopefully they fix it tomorrow when the game fully drops hey, hey see that room over there the magla feels less dense compared to the rest of this place Right, but that, that door is glowing. Is that so? I don't feel anything. I thought it was feeling, but now I can see it. It's like the Magla hollows out just for that room. Back in the Sanctum, I learned that fairies are natural adepts at sensing Magla. It's safe to assume that Galaga is no exception. Maybe we can get some rest in there. Oh, it's a safe room. All right, all right. Hey. This, this does seem like an ideal place to rest. I'm just wondering why the Magla is thinner in here. I couldn't tell you much. It just feel, It's just a feeling I get. There is varying intensity to the magla that floats through the air. For example, think of it like steam or smoke. It's not much. Uh, it, it's not much could seep into this room. It seems not much could seep into this room. A magla hollow, if you will. Even your igniters won't work in here as well. A magla hollow seems as good as t uh, good a term as any, and all the better if Gallica can sense them. You could say that it's easier to spot a. Okay, all so right. it's basically um, a safe room. Okay, record your travels of his academia. It's a save room, I right, bet. What should you do? Talk to allies. Still, though. This tunnel's just crawling with monsters, isn't it? The Magla's really dense too. I never imagined it would be this True. dangerous. Indeed, it's like nothing. It's like nothing like uh, it's nothing like what we were told. Grius, are you, are you familiar with this place? I don't know if any. I don't know any concrete details, lad. But I can say that these monsters weren't here the last time I passed through. So you're saying that these monsters are the result of this thick Magla. Well, if there's a reason for it, I can only assume it's the working of Magla. But there's no point in speculating. We must focus on fulfilling the mission. 
we'll keep moving once we've gotten some rest. Alright. I love that you said the performance is another best PC in the world should be a Yeah. That's 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 annoying, man. I hope tomorrow they fix it because honestly the game, like I mean it looks exactly like Persona 3 remake. Like it doesn't look any any crazier, but I guess in like the big areas, maybe Let's go. it um it would perform very badly, but uh voice they've actually got a surprising amount of voice acting. That's fine. Looks like it could be useful. But it's mainly in cutscenes, yes. But there's honestly not a lot of talking where there's no voice acting. Um, okay, this is just a guy telling me about this shit. Yeah. Alright. Hello, Wolves! Goodbye, Wolves. Oh, that's what's in here. Wait, a second. Wait, what? Something feels really wrong further in. It might be just what I was sensing. Unfortunately, we've got no choice to press on regardless. I'm gonna open it. Are you ready? Wait, am I close to death right now? Holy shit, what is this thing? I can see the glow of a strange crystal and an even stranger monster in front of it. What is that? I've never seen anything like it. What's up, Max? How are you? It's a crystal of raw magma. This feels wrong somehow. Dude, that thing there is horrifying. They say in the lands beyond mortal reach, great spires of crystal stand. And anyone who might touch them it's driven mad. That's all just superstition though, right? Still, this thing is giving off a really nasty aura. That's no ordinary monster. Some kind of human? The way it's moving. It's almost like it's protecting the crystal. Here it comes. That's you, Ross? Bro. This thing is freaky, man. Homo full kilo. I shall vanquish evil. Not any means necessary. Try ice. Nice. Sharp as always. Here. I don't think no, yeah, I don't no. think raising his attack does anything. Because I think his magic. Alright. Let's go. Let me double check. Status? No. They're weak to ice. Let them right in their weak vitus power. Sharp as always, Rius. Let me help. I owe you. Mate! I won't hold back. Are you weak to resist, okay? Yeah, dude's a fuck leg there, right? Chest only. <gasps> oh, oh, oh. Okay, I was one health. I just realized. Yeah, I actually totally just realized I'm literally fucking one health. Okay, I lose this, right? There's no way I win this. Hold on, can I use Fairy Dust to revive my teammates? I've got this. Oh, I trolled, man. I, I had to heal before I went in. Alright, let me die. All right, my bad, my bad, my bad. I had to press down. Yeah, when I walked in and you said so close to death, I just pressed that message. I just read that message and um, I thought the healing. Here we go. Wait, wait I have full health though. What? Wait, we're kind of chilling though. Did I have this much health before? Got it. Let me, um, let me rearrange the positioning of my allies as well. I think this guy's going in the front. Um. No holding back. Distancing myself. We're gonna go at the back here. Liz. It's okay. I'll get some distance. Forward. By this power. I mean, falling back. Let's go. Here. Stroll. My time's. Warrior. I don't know if being at the back affects magical damage. The front oh the front row is being targeted. I see. I see, so I should move everyone out of the front row. Is there another way? Seeker! Better be sure. 
In the stepping back, warrior! Pass and slash! Not the power of heroes! I've actually got to read, man. That's crazy. Reading is insane. Let me help. Right. Okay, okay. Bet, bet, bet. To the floor. I shall vanquish evil. Engage it. Let's go. It's okay. Anyone need a heal? Moving to the rear. Are you prepared? Yo, what's up? Who is dude, right? What's he gonna do? Attack and defense rose dramatically. Holy crap, he just kicked my shit. Attack return to normal. Hit this. We're gonna heal Leon. Got no more mana. Yeah, kind of came in with no mana, but that's all right. I will no, hold on. Have you seen anything on, the, uh, on this game, Himmy? <laughs> Oof. Okay, it's fine. I was at the back. Ooh, sorry. God, I should honestly just pass my turn. Because then I could just like... Actually, I don't know if I'm losing turns there. Let's stay calm. By the power. Guard up. <laughs> it, it's very similar, so it's the same creator. The same game uh game devs. But it's like in a fantasy setting. And it's about like um my best friend who was the prince being cursed, and now they're looking for a new king. And I think I'm like kind of on the way to the throne, but also I want to try and save my friend. And now we're battling these things called humans. Because we're not humans, we're all like from different tribes and races. But the humans are these monsters, which is kind of interesting. Everyone just died. Everyone just died. Okay, this is bad. I don't think I beat him in one go. I only got one move. Hang on. So I'm right. No, everyone else is. I'm not. Oh, fuck. We're fucked. We're cooked. Oh my god, I think I misread one of the attacks. I think I misread one of the attacks where he was, um... He was gonna, what's it called? Oh, Loki! Hold on! Oh, I need to restock! <laughs> Scum server? I should, but it's just here. Yeah, hold on. I need to restock my, uh, my mana. I came into this fight with no mana at all. But it's pretty cool. Hold on. Oh, I should be buying new weapons as well, no? Yeah, I probably should have upgraded my stuff. Some armor. I see. Gear. Magic plus one. Strength plus one. Endurance agility. I should actually give that to him. I just bought an extra one of this. Yeah. Oh, I just put it back on him. Oh, fuck me. Okay, hold on. Oh, I don't have anything to recover. Um, my finger. What now? That's better. Wait, Captain's uniform goes hard, wait. Let's weak it though. Alright. Alright, let's see now. I, I don't know how much... I, I assume we're probably going to do like a little bit more damage. And like we kind of only just needed a little bit of damage there. Ah! 
Alright, uh, I'm gonna be more wise with my turns though. Oh no, fuck it. And I, I think my, like, increasing attack does affect the magic damage. Hyper. Okay, concentrating. Front row being targeted. Alright, we're gonna move into the back row. It does a little bit more damage. I should probably be skipping with him. Um, let's yield turn. Get an extra turn here. Dude, this shit on hard would actually be pretty fucking hard, I feel. We're kind of cooking, we're kind of cooking. I think I accidentally got hit by a really big move last time and I just wasn't paying attention. Let me keep him in the back. More attack damage for Stroll. Do I have a pass? Fuck. Alright, attacking defense drove uh Rose dramatically. I think I'm gonna I'm gonna keep healing as well anytime I get. Oh, it's actually no my MP though. I'm gonna run out of MP. That's what happened last time. Oh, we're chilling. I can pass my Oh, I blocked. Fuck. I meant to pass my turn. Oh, I mean, the block was actually pretty good. Oof. Passing my turn, I probably would have just won. Oh, uh, would I have won this? No, I wouldn't have. Pass. Heal. Nice. Of Goodbye. Oh, sorry. Uh, I'm going to... Let's just attack. Not done yet. <laughs> it's just... Crazy enemy. Alright. Let's stay calm. No need to run it's distract- dude, the um... The menus and, uh, and shit are so cool. Oh, there we go. Alright, honestly, I died twice, but it's fine. Uh, magic maybe? I don't really know. What is this crystal? By my guess, the monsters were drawn to its aura. We shouldn't lose Aura. anything so sinister just lying around. I just hit that shit. All questions and answers, but there's no time to ponder them. We better move. Okay. You can't be serious. Big pets, big pets. So can I can I save from here or no, right? Uh, right there. Push through. Dad? Charging in. Dad? Cool. Really? Hey, do you see that? Oh shit, a dragon? What is that? Just look at the size of it. Nothing's, uh, not something I'd hope I'd ever stumble upon. I'm afraid that's a dragon. A dragon? You mean those creatures from Legends? I've never seen one with my own eyes. Now I understand why the mine was closed. They must have dug right into this thing's roost and had no choice to back off. This mine taps a magnificent vein of resources. Only something as terrible as a dragon would have forced them to abandon such a lucrative uh, uh, operation. Luck is on our side, though, that we've caught it slumbering like this. We can slip past it and continue forwards. Almost a shame, it has all sorts of things in its little well nest. I can sense something tinged with Magla too. Dragons are ancient and strong, Magla follows in their wake. Just the way it goes. Any so-called special item you're sensing is bound to have its f a little bit. Got it. Oh yeah, we're grabbing it. What? But there are monsters around here too. Aye. If they can see us and cause a ruckus and we'll be done for. Keep your distance from them as we make our way through. Understood? Oh, like stealth area? Can I like... Hey, what do you think you're doing? Sorry, my bad. No, stop. Oh! 
We're fine though. Holy shit, we have to fight it? Dude, I have no mana. Can't say I was expecting you dog to fight. You're either bloody bold or too confident for your own good. Okay, Just I thought so I could sneak around it. Slaying the things beyond you. Underestimating a dragon is the fastest way to get yourself. Oh, this is gonna teach us the flea mechanic. This one's on the smaller side as dragons go. We might have a chance of driving it off. Listen, keep an eye on its movements. Be ready for anything. If you sense it bracing to strike, stand your ground and shield yourself. Do not waste your lives in a place like this. Now, let's go, lads. We're on a mission. What the fuck? Dude, I have no MP though. How do I get more MP? I shall vanquish evil. I have no MP. Let's go. I can't. I could probably do this if I had MP. Fuck. I think I just take the L here. Can I, um... I'm gonna auto battle. I fear I just auto battle. Let's see what they, they do for me. He's gonna kill me next turn anyway. Is there any way to get more mana? Yeah, that's clutch. I think I saw any items that were gonna give me mana. How are we still alive? Did you fight this thing? Right. Enough. Will you Fantasy is dead. All right, let me double check. What now? Oh, wait. I didn't think I had that before. Oh, that was a hundred. Oops. On the hardest, probably one tries enough. All right, let's try this. Oh shit, it actually put us kind of far back. I can't lock onto it. Alright. Did I kind of get a pee, but. Really? Alright. Wait, that's fast forwarding already? Oh, wait, the. Okay. I'm gonna go to the toilet real quick, guys. I'll be right back. And then we'll fight this thing. Alright, we're back. Now. Uh, let's try kill the, uh... I mean, is killing the dragon actually the, a wise decision? Fuck it, right? Hello! Surely it's okay. Can't say I was expecting... We're on a mission. Are you prepared? Right. I'll cut you down! Not even a let's take I don't think it's gonna be weak to wind. Yo, what's up, corpse? How are you, man? What happened to your other account? Blade Welcome back. Hope you've been well. It's been ages. 242? This is fucking easy, man. This is actually easy. I'm gonna guard. I really should be in the back rows, though. These front rows are not good. These front rows are fucking giga shit. Can I increase the attack again? Like, double attack? How do I see my, um... Oh yeah, it doubles the attack, all right. Ooh, okay, okay. 
okay. Seeker. Can I go again? Let me help. Three. How have you been going? Sushi roll. Wait, I, I respect that. Dude, you're gonna hit all of us with fireballs, you bitch. Um, what did I do to check that before? Status. Three. Okay, bet. I'm going at the front, man. 293 damage? Okay, that felt like shit all. Are we gonna heal you? I'm gonna block. That's right. Holy shit. Okay, I gotta res on your guy. I gotta heal him. Oh, it's Stroll that's Lar. Hold on. Get a heal Stroll. LVN? What is that? Pass. Okay. This is looking okay. Unless he has like a really fucked up. Don't do it. Don't hit. Don't tail whip. Don't tail whip. Don't hit me again. Miss. Okay. Bet, bet, bet. Do not tail whip. Oh shit! Okay, lucky, lucky. No holding back. You Let's pass. Seeker. Oh, nursing! Wait, that's fucking sick. How long is that? That's like a, a, a quite a long thing, right? A long process. I guess I I pass. I pass, so then he can get a second turn. Pass. There we go. All right, bet, bet, bet. Okay, the main, our main guy dodged that shit. Oh, that's all you had? That's all you had for a move? Please. Please. Get some attack on. I, I, I fucking passed. No. I passed on him. Oh, my God. Dude, I can't get used to these controls. Oh, shit. Holy fuck. Okay, this is more stressful than it needs to be now. Ooh, no heal. Grius must stay alive at all costs. At whatever cost. Dude, I actually might have just thrown. Not even gonna lie. Okay. Okay, okay. No more heals after this. Holy shit. Holy shit. What the fuck do I do? Attack and I get an extra move, right? Okay, okay. And I heal here. Items. Wrong button. Items. 50 HP. Alright, bet, bet, bet. Oh my god, that was jack shit. Bro, that's fine. Wait, he's got three moves. I actually just lost because of that one move I missed. That one move I passed, I think, has, has fucked me. Uh, thank you for the rain. Oh, thank you for the rain. You were alive. I didn't even know it. Thank you. I appreciate that. Oh, we're fine. Okay. I actually literally almost threw that. Because of that move I, I, I passed on. Sorry. Thank you, Aiden. Thank you, Aiden. Aiden, what are you doing so loud? Goodbye. Okay, we didn't kill him, but he left. That was close. Somehow we managed to drive it off. Never thought I'd have to fend off a dragon. You lot never cease to amaze me. Perhaps we simply had luck on our side this time. I must admit, however, my heart sank the moment that dragon woke up. If anyone truly intends to kill the beast, they'd have to have a gauntlet runner. A gauntlet runner would certainly make our return to Grand Triad mu uh, much, much easier. You may as well wish for the moon. Only the most prominent nobles have the means to secure a runner for themselves. Sorry to interrupt, but look at that over there. Isn't that a treasure chest? Um, let me look at what a gauntlet runner is first, actually. Often called runners as shorthand, a general term for a magic-powered semi-automated vehicles designed for... Wait, oh, okay. Oh, it's like the vehicle thing. Okay, cool, cool, cool. I see, I see. 
Oh, which friend? Yeah, he, okay, it wasn't that bad. I, I accidentally passed on a turn spray and almost got myself killed. But it wasn't that bad on this difficulty. So did you grab this treasure anyway? Like, could you sneak around and grab it? Grand iron. It's in this. Amazing. Dragon's indignation. A great sword embodying the fury of a dragon slash can be purified at a church. What does purifying it, pur purifying at a church do? Like, it just makes the item better or something? Fuck, it honestly would have been probably too hard on the hard difficulty. Oh, Valen? Oh, real? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They were lovely. That old group was really nice. Level up and come back? No, I think it was doable. I think you really have to make use of the passes in this. Passing your turn is very... Actually pretty important. Kind of strong. Or game with Taron Fred rule. Isn't that the exit? It is. We can finally get out of here. Looks like we can finally breathe easy. At least for a moment. That bridge is death falling. What? Oh no, could it be? Look. A dragon's roar. And you feel that shaking? Uh, what the? It's getting stronger. What's going on here? I mean, we just killed the dragon. We're just like... Pff. Holy shit. No, stop. It's a cave-in. Oh. If you value your lives, Thank run. You. Hurricane Milden can't stop me from priming to AUC Dan Lubbers. Sushi, I hope you're okay, man. Holy shit. I hope you're okay. I hope you're not too in danger. Thank you for the prime, though, guys. Please show Sushi some love. Thank you for the prime. I hope, I hope you're cool. I'll say hello back. It's a cave-in. If you value your lives, run. What? Holy shit. Holy shit. Holy shit. Holy shit. Run! Oh, oh, I tripped. I tripped on the box. Can I hit? Oh, my God. Mini game. Mini game. Are you all right? Just concentrate on dodging? Yeah, let me dodge these boxes. Holy moly! Dude, Silent Hill R chase. Uh, we actually made it out. And in one piece, no less. One piece reference. For yourself. I think that shaved a couple years off my life. How long do you live Damn for anyway, Galica? Can't afford too many delays, but. We'll not be getting far in this torrent. We can make camp tonight and slip onto a carriage to the capital tomorrow once we're out of the wastes. We'll have to if we want to make it in time. Public carriage seems a bit risky, doesn't it? Not with all the outsiders flocking in for the funeral. We'll be three faces among hundreds. Lovely. Another carriage ride. Hopefully this one's smoother than the last couple. Let's just get our camp set up. Somewhere dry, preferably. That is true, stay safe. Okay, East Tampa though. Dude, it's fucking crazy though. Okay, seven degrees raining. Ah, oh, this is so cozy. I feel alive again. It's certainly better than freezing. Reminds me of when I was a child. Back then, I wouldn't have been caught dead out in the wilderness like this. Countryside nobility like us had no fortune to speak of. My parents bowed and smiled for their money, and honestly, I despised them for it. Back then, I thought being a noble was about, I don't know, a life of prestige, being respected. But one spring seven years ago, our town was attacked by this horrific creature. A human, though I had no idea at the time. I was evacuated alongside the servants while the rest of the town burned. I waited for my parents to join us in the shelter, but they would never come. Mm. The parents I'd so despised had stayed behind to protect the villagers Damn. who couldn't flee. He was wrong about his parents. They were heroes. Your parents were heroes. It changed everything. It taught me who my parents really were, what it really meant to be a noble. But our town's just rubble now. A footnote in history. The human that destroyed us is all we'll ever be known for. <sighs> yeah, music's good. I remember my father petitioning the capital for aid, but no reply came. Even knowing how much of a threat the humans were. Now, I think, what if the army... Well, Luis. What if he's the one who abandoned us? 
if we were just a poor Why does Luis not want to deal with our humans? Then I will make him pay. <sighs> hey, Grius. We all trust each other now, don't we? I think we can tell him. Aye. Maybe you're right. I'll admit the lad saw put me in mind of the past. Yeah, I'm Hernia boy. I'm Hernia boy, and my like my character's Hernia boy, but me, the player, is Hernia guy. Something special about that sword? Well, we used it to identify the messenger from our faction, but it originally belonged to His Highness, a kingly gift from his father, to better suit His Highness and his keen aptitude for magic. That blade was specially forged, with raw magla folded into the metal. Of course, when Swordplay bored him, he'd amuse himself by levitating it or standing atop it. To oh, the gliding out. sword, were real. A royal rascal, that one. Those days were all too short. Then, 12 years ago, it all came crashing down. I've heard. The prince was attacked, right? There was a plot on his life. One I wish I'd rooted out sooner. Just like tonight, it was pouring rain. Your Highness, this way! Oh, oh, cutscene, cutscene, cutscene! That's badass! Talking about you like a god. Who led these blackguards into the palace? <laughs> Oh shit, that's the lady from My Lord, are you hurt? Back! From the carriage. A royal knight. A wench and nothing more. You lazy! You know nothing of true knighthood. I pledged my life to the prince, and I'll not lose it to you! Oh shit. Oh. Holy crap. She kind of trolled, no? Whoa, we actually... She actually sliced him in the back? Oh, he must have a scar on his back. He must have some major scarring on his back. survived the attack, but the curse hanging over him was powerful and complex. Damn, dude. What's up, Dom? How are you? Of all the mage healers in the capital, not one could wake him. And he grew weaker with each passing day. We might lift the curse if we knew the specifics of its formula, but Luis would never give that up. Which leaves but one way to dispel the curse. Its caster must die. And you're sure Luis is the man you seek? I saw what if it's not? Free. He was younger then. Younger even than you are now. And shorter besides. I could never mistake him. And now, after spilling the royal blood of father and son both, the people call him not traitor, but savior. Um, so to remind you killing, of, of me killing there? Dude, I don't think... I reckon it's not him. I reckon we're going to see his back and he won't have scarring. Or maybe maybe we do. Or maybe we see another character that comes, that arises, and we see scarring on his back. Who knows? The games are really good, Dom. I'm really, really enjoying it a lot. Uh, there's so much lore and stuff that I've been, like, reading into as well. Is there anything else that I want to... Uh... Plateau is a cat. 
Moa's pet cat who lives in academia with him. He doesn't necessarily resemble the animals called cats that exist everywhere else. The strange charm hanging around his neck, a type of magic igniter, according to Moore, allows for visions of him to be projected outside of academia. For his highness, for the king, and for the very future of this country, he must be dealt with. To kill Luis is to see just. So if we kill Luis, the spell should be lifted. So as he did with the prince, he would make of my city a stepping stone to further heights. A tool to spread the infamy of the humans. You haven't told that story to many, have you? Thank you for trusting me with it. No I worries. Hope never forgets a debt. Even if it takes three generations, we'd see it <sighs> paid. But neither do we forget a grudge. And Luis will know that soon enough. So, that's what all this is about. Say, friend, this mission means a lot to you too, doesn't it? Yes. Of course it does. You've been carrying a greater weight than I realized. In any case, I owe you my life. And we've both got something we'd fight to protect. Let's save this country. Together. Uh, ideally, once we're out of this cold, of course. I think it's about time we eat. We're almost to the capital, after all. I'd say that's worth celebrating. <sighs> bet, bet, bet. All right. I'm beat. I'm exhausted. Um, I can save you. Alright. Cool. I think we're like five hours in right now. What the fuck? Three hours and a half? Oh, wait, no, no, no. Sorry, I've been streaming for five hours, but... We've got a one hour recording and a two hour recording. Um... Cool. Uh, let me... <laughs> Sometime after the assault together with a small entourage, we decided to take His Highness out in secret to an appropriate hiding place. He was attacked in the Royal Palace, the place he was supposed to be safest. We knew not when he'd be attacked again if we stayed in the grand trad naturally his highness was considered missing and eventually his death was deemed official from that time on our organization was formed to restore his highness to power i'm sure there are those who would resent us for vanishing from the palace without a word after all even the royal guards who protected his highness were kept in the dark if they had known they would have no choice but to stop us even if they had accompanied us or let us go they would have been guilty for treason a terrible fate for young knights who have so much ahead of them so yeah, they basically took the, the prince out in secret and now they're keeping him, trying to keep him alive, but he's, he's probably like on his last legs now. I thought to join the army and work my way up the ranks. Oh, I thought to join, oh, thought to join the army and work my way up the ranks the traditional way. Never thought things would turn out like this. I didn't expect to run into humans and dragons, nor to be bestowed with an extraordinary power. Was this the path that was always headed for? Or is this all thanks to you? Well, I'm not complaining either way. Once we pull off the assassination and the prince returns to power, I think our country will be on a better path. I'll get my revenge on Luis. Nothing, uh, no matter what it takes. Though I must admit, all this camping is taking its toll on me. A delicious meal would be nice once we're in Grand Trad. I think either we kill Luis very soon and he's not like an overarching, like uh, an overarching like antagonist. Or, and when we do kill him, it turns out the curse isn't lifted. Or something else happens. I, I don't know. I don't know. I can't believe not just you, but Strell and Grius have awakened to that power. I heard the mysterious voice again when it happened, and I wondered what it was. <sighs> I'm exhausted. That magla was unusually dense, and now it's already dark. I hope I can see the beautiful clear sky tomorrow. We still have a long way to go to Grand Trad. You should get some sleep for tomorrow. Bet. All right. I'm going to save here. Because there will be a cutscene. I don't know how much more there is to this demo. But I'm going to beat the demo tomorrow. Um, I have to be at PAX. I think I have to be at PAX tomorrow at some point. And the full game releases at like 2 p.m. So I don't think I'll be able to play the full game that much tomorrow, which sucks. But I'll play it super early the day after. Um, I might have one or two. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll play that one or two hours tomorrow, I think. And then I'll probably play like a, a full hour of the full release. But I think I'll, be, I'll, be, I'll definitely be buying the full game. This is, this is really good. The story's got me hooked. It's super like Attack on Titan. It's super Attack on Titan-esque. And the fact that they give you like a little recap of everything in the story here is kind of fucking goaded. Like we can go through that most streams. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta figure out how the, sa how the save import works. Um, I was thinking about buying it on console, but the performance kind of has me nervous. But I was thinking about buying it on PlayStation 5 because you can play it at midnight, but... I mean, I, I'm not like in a huge rush. 
Um, but it's been really good. Stream packs. I'd need another Wi-Fi modem. I don't think I don't think I'm gonna be there for that long. So I don't know if I, I want to stream packs. Pax is pretty fucking boring as well, not gonna lie. So we don't even have this vehicle yet. Yeah, I have like the setup for the IRL cam and everything. Who the fuck is that? Holy shit, this game's got a lot. Yeah. No, really, really cool. I really, really like that. This is going to be the main game for a bit. How do I exit game tab? That'll be the main game for a bit, I think. Um, I'm ending. I am Susan. Susan, I stream earlier now. Ooh. I stream earlier. I've been live. We've been live six hours. I do apologize, but we just finished uh, the demo for Metaphor. Um, it was so good. It was so, so good. I liked it a lot. Uh, that'll be going on the VOD channel later today. Uh, I'll start the upload for that like right now. It's bedtime. I feel that. Guys, thank you for uh, thank you for watching. If you did enjoy that, be sure to... Oh, wait, shit. Hold on. Ooh, hold on. There we go. If you did enjoy that, please be sure to leave a like. I forgot I can do it on this scene. Yeah, I'll have these going.